Hello folks and welcome one and all to another helping of Mr H's Hot Pot. You join me today on a bit of a rare treat. I'm currently in the Rivington area of the West Pennine Moors. And I say it's a rare treat because normally I don't get up to this area despite it being on her doorstep. The reason for that is Mrs H simply doesn't like the Rivington area. She doesn't like the terrain, she doesn't like the ambience, she doesn't really like anything about it. So normally I don't get up here to do a video, despite many of you out there wanting me to do a video of this area, Lever Park, Rivington Park and all that kind of thing. Well today it's just me and little Toby and what we're going to attempt to do, our uh, mission today, is try to get to the top of Rivington Pike. I'm currently in a wooded area known as Wilderswood, which is uh, it's just below Winter Hill and uh, Rivington Park and Lever Park. It's sort of set off to one side and uh, we're sort of above the Bolton area at present. You can't really see much, it's just a wooded area. As you can see, all the trees there behind me. Not bad light today and it's a good day today. I've loaded up... Toby's little carriage with uh, lots of goodies and supplies ready for our, our trek up Rivington Pike and we're going to make our way off now. So like I said we're just making our way through this wooded area. Now with a bit of luck we'll be able to get to the top of the pike. The only thing that I can see stopping us is uh, farmers gates and kissing gates. Hopefully there's no styes. I've had a look on Google Maps and I've sort of done a bit of uh, research and I've zoomed in and I can't see any gates or fencings really uh, that should stop us. So with a bit of luck we can make our way around. The paths that I'm choosing aren't too bad as you can see. That path there. Pretty good underfoot. So with a bit of luck we can make it up there. I'll give you a little bit of history about the park as we make our way along. But currently we're just enjoying the cool breeze in this wooded area. I believe there used to be a, an house in here at one time. I think it was known as Rockcliffe or something like that. I know it was rock something. We might pass the ruins, we might not of it. I think this will be one for another day. Like I say, I'm just going to skirt these ruins at present. And we're going to make our way onto that road. And then the sun will come out. But we've got plenty of water, lots of drinks. Toby's looking forward to it, so let's crack on. So we've just left the woods behind there, on that path. Made our way along here. And just as we come to this clearing here, just there in the distance, you can see our target, which is that little stone castle type object on the top of that hill. That's Rivington Pike, and that's what we're making our way towards. Now, there's two ways I can get to it. There's the scenic route, and there's the direct route. The direct route looks, it looks pretty steep. I don't know whether to make my way up that, and then round or round and come down that. We'll sort of decide that as we make our way along. So, we're going to make our way up there now and we should come out onto the main road and it should be a pretty gentle walk down to where the crossroads meets for getting up towards the park. So, we'll make our way down there now and uh, I'll whip the camera around and I think I'll give you a little bit of history about the park. Okay folks, well we've made it to the main road. There's a little bit of a dirt road that now leads up towards Rivington Pike. Now, a little bit of history about the park itself. It was built in 1733 by John Andrews of Rivington Hall. And he built it as a hunting lodge for him and his friends. They would get up there and uh, you know, they could take a rest from the day's activities. And uh, it resembles a castle when you get up there. It's a, it's a beautiful little thing really, and it's a, quite a nice bit of history. Thankfully, it's not been destroyed. We nearly did lose it in the 1960s, I'll talk about that when we get up there. But, uh, thankfully, it's been saved for future generations. Now, straight facing me there, in the distance, I don't know if you can make that out, is the top of Winter Hill Mast, or Winter Hill Transmitter. That beams all the television broadcasts and radio broadcasts, I think some mobile phone signals as well. Right across this area, down over Bolton and then on the other side, Belmont and Blackburn. Uh, before that was built, we used to have to get it from old Moss and uh, according to my father, it was a right pig to get hold of uh, television transmitters from old Moss. They had quite a way to go. Once they built that, everybody's television pictures were clear. For those of you who want it, of course. For those of you who want it. Now there's quite a bit of history up there. 
because I think a plane crashed up there that was uh, flying from Douglas in the Isle of Man. Uh, and it, you know, it uh, crashed and a few people lost their lives. I think that happened back in the 1950s. There was also a murder up there in the, the 1800s that they never solved. You know, in the early 1800s, blow by the name of uh, James Henderson, I believe. There's a memorial up there to him, as well as a memorial up there to those who lost their lives in that plane crash. So we'll get up there at some point, and we'll do that. Now that is a windy place. It is, they don't call it Winter Hill for nothing. Right then, it's now become clear, we're now getting closer to Winter Hill Park. Winter Hill Park, Rivington Park, should I say, I've got Winter Hill on brain. And uh, it's starting to climb. You can probably tell, you know, I'm, uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to make it so as, as I'm talking, I'm not sounding out of breath. I'm trying to control my breathing. Sounds a bit kinky that, doesn't it? <laughs> right then, we'll follow this gentleman here. He's just took his hat off because he's a bit warm. And uh, join me again when we get a bit closer. We might have a drink and a bit of a rest there, Toby. Now, just before I do go, I'm just going to show you this lovely view just over the reservoir though. Just look at that. Fantastic. You really... You can't beat it, can you? Apologies for the sun, making me look like a black disc at times. There's not much I can do about that. We've just got a grin and burry top, Potters. Right then, enough waffling. I'll get up this bit of a brew, as we call them. Bit of a hill for those of you who aren't from around these parts. And join me again when we get to the crossroads and we'll make a decision which way to go, hard way or the easy way. There's no such thing as an easy way out of Potters. Just some more shots of that stunning view from up here. Once again the reservoir. And that's looking down on Horwich. Brilliant. I think right over there in the distance, right over there somewhere, you can see Fiddler's Ferry Power Station. I can see it anyway, I don't think you'll be able to make it out on this. But uh, Fiddler's Ferry is over, way over there. We're getting ever closer to the park, Toby. What do you think about it so far, lad? Rubbish! <laughs> right then, we'll push on, we'll push on. Getting a little bit warm now, Hot Potter's on the old back of the neck though. May have to lather little Toby up with some suntan lotion at some stage. Mrs H will not be pleased if I come back and he's sunburned. Public footpaths all over the place here. Making your way back through Wilderswood, which is where we've just come from. It really is a pity Mrs H doesn't like coming up here because, you know, you get a nice day like today and it's gorgeous, you know, it's just beautiful. But uh, she just doesn't like it for some reason. When we have come up here, the few times we have ventured up here, we've always ended up in an argument for some reason. You know, it's always ended up being my fault usually. You know, of course. <laughs> and, um, you know, we just, uh, we just decided, we made a pact never to come up here together again. You know, so she's left us to it today. She just said, you know, you go and do your own thing, boys. Now, coming up to a, a little house here on the right-hand side. Should just be visible in a moment. Imagine living there, Hot Potters. Imagine living there. With that lovely view.
This is probably more in Mr H's price range. Even then, I don't know, I bet that's a pretty penny, that caravan. Just imagine having that house. And having that at the side of it. You know, as your little hideaway, your little, your little place to get away from it all. And still with that lovely view. Beautiful. Right then folks, well, it's getting rather warm here as we make our way up this path. You know, I'm, uh, I'm not far off the park, it's just up there. You can just make out people milling about around uh, the base of it though. Starting to be able to make out the detail, so we're getting closer. And hopefully we're not far from where the road forks. Like I said, there's two paths, there's a, I'm not saying it's an easy path. Uh, but there's definitely one and it goes straight up. My idea is to take the one that goes straight up and I'll put up with having to push him up that. And then we can make our way round the gentler way on our way back and we'll come back down this road that's made my way up. What I don't want it to be like is that gate though. If it's like that then we're knackered because uh, there's no way can I lift all of that with him in it over. I'd have to strip the pram down and do it in in two bites. Not be the first time I've done that and I dare say it'll be the last before he's walking but uh, hopefully I'll be able to open the gate and just push him through it'll make life a little bit easier. Right then I'm gonna make my way up that uh, path there now. It's looking like it's cobbled this. Like I said this is why Mrs H doesn't like it you know she says it's bad under feet. So it's gonna be a bit bumpy so I'm gonna shut the camera off until I get to the crossroad and then you can join me again and uh, we'll see if we can get over it. Bit of luck Fingers crossed, touch wood, scratch your back and all that kind of thing, we will be able to do it.